we all know about the tallest mountain on our planet Earth, which would be Mount Everest. However, Mount Everest is not even the tallest mountain on Earth if we consider measuring its height from the base to the summit. That title would go to Mauna Kea in Hawaii, more than half of which is below sea level. It is twice more than Mount Everest. Let me prod your minds a bit more. Have you ever wondered about which is the tallest mountain in the solar system? Well, in today's video, we are going to look at 10 of the tallest mountains in our solar system. Let's jump straight into the video. Hello guys and welcome back to the Erudite's Cove. At number 10, we have Lim Mountain Oberon. With a peak height of 11 kilometers, the Lim Mountain of Oberon is the 10th tallest mountain in the solar system. Also designated as Uranus 4, Oberon is the outermost major moon of the planet Uranus and was first discovered by William Herschel in 1787. It is the second largest and the second most massive of the Uranian moons. Several images of the moon were captured by the Voyager 2 spacecraft during its flyby in 1986, amongst which the Lim Mountain was observed. The mountain was probably formed as a result of asteroid and comet impact. At number 9, we have Arsiamon's Mars. The height of this volcanic mountain is about 11.7 kilometers and is the southernmost of three volcanoes, collectively known as Tarsus Montes, on the Tarsus region near the equator of the planet Mars. The name comes from a corresponding albedo feature on a map by Giovanni Schiaparelli, which he named in turn after the legendary Roman forest of Arcia Silva. The Odyssey spacecraft is responsible for most Mars imagery via the instrument Themis, which stands for Thermal Emission Imaging System. At number 8, we have Elysium on Mars. It is a volcanic mountain on Mars located in the volcanic province of Elysium in the Martian Eastern Hemisphere. The mountain stands at 12.6 kilometers. It is flanked by two smaller volcanoes. Hecate's Tholus to the northeast and Albert Tholus to the southeast. Elysium Mons was discovered in 1972 in images returned by the Mariner 9 orbiter. At number 7, we have Ionian Mons Eastridge, Io. The mountain stands at a height of 12.7 kilometers and is located on Io, moon of Jupiter. It is formed as a result of tectonic processes and is in the form of a curved double ridge. Images taken by the Voyager space probes had provided a greater understanding about the Ionian Mount's East Ridge. At number 6, we have Yoboya Montes Io. Also located on Io, Yoboya Montes is a rugby ball shaped mountain and comes in at a height of 13.4 kilometers. It was formed as a result of tilting of a crustal block with subsequent modification by a very large landslide. The space probe responsible for the images of Euboya Montes is the Voyager 1 which was launched in 1977. At number 5, we have Azraeus Mons Mars. This volcanic mountain was officially given its name in 1973. It is located on Mars and is a large shield volcano in the Tarsus region and is the northernmost of the three volcanoes known collectively as Tarsus Montes. It stands at a height of 14.9 kilometers and was first discovered by the Marina 9 spacecraft in 1971. And number 4 we have Bosole Mont South Io. Standing at an estimated height of 18.2 kilometers, Bosoli Mount South Peak is the highest mountain on Jupiter's moon, Io, and is formed as a result of tectonic processes. And number 3, we have Equatorial Ridge Iapetus. Discovered by the Cassini probe in 2004, a long 28-kilometer high ridge is seen running along most of Saturn's 
third largest moon, Iapetus Equator. The ridge forms a complex system including isolated peaks, segments of more than 200 kilometers and sections with three near parallel ridges. The equatorial ridge runs almost perfectly along the equator of the Iapetus and is about 1,300 kilometers long. This prominent equatorial ridge gives Iapetus a walnut-like appearance. And number two, we have Olympus Mons Mars. Olympus Mons, which is Latin for Mount Olympus, is a very large shield volcano on the planet of Mars. Standing at a height of 21.9 kilometers, Olympus Mons is about two and a half times the height of Mount Everest above sea level and about 30 Burj Khalifas. It is often cited as the largest volcano in the solar system as well as the tallest planetary mountain. Olympus Mons covers an area the size of the state of Arizona or nearly the size of France. If one stands at the summit, one wouldn't realize that they are standing on top of a high mountain as the slopes of it would extend far beyond the horizon. And now, coming to what you have been waiting for, the tallest mountain in our solar system is Rio Silvia Central Peak Vesta. Located on the asteroid 4 Vesta, Rio Silvia Central Peak is the most prominent surface feature on it and stands at a height of 22.5 kilometers, making it the tallest mountain in the solar system. It is believed to be an impact crater. Discovered by the Hubble Space Telescope in 1997, it is one of the largest impact craters in the solar system and covers most of the southern hemisphere of the asteroid. Although discovered in 1997, it remained unnamed until the arrival of the Dawn spacecraft in 2011. It was named after Rhea Silvia, a mythological vessel virgin and mother of the founders of Rome, Romulus and Remus. I hope you have enjoyed the video as much as I have loved making it. If there are certain topics you like to suggest, please feel free to comment in the comment section below. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.